salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. There is no other name because the teaching of Jesus and his apostles and the scriptures don't leave room for another option. That sounds exclusive, intolerant. Someone may come up to you and say, you know, here we are trying to be tolerant of, of everyone's views and trying to be inclusive, and then you come along with this very arrogant and exclusive claim that Jesus is the only way. And people who talk like this might even say, you know, I'm glad that Christianity works for you. That's good for you. But for me, I have a different view, and it works for me. Yours is good for you. Mine is good for me. All religions are the same. They're all equal, so let's just be tolerant of one another. That sounds very nice and humble and inclusive. But you see, whenever you make a claim like that, when you make, or make any claim, all claims are exclusive. And so by making a truth claim, you are automatically excluding other views that don't agree with that claim. There's a popular story that you've probably heard, and many people like to to bring this story up when they talk this way. And that is about the blind man and the elephant. You see, there are these six blind men, and they come across an elephant for the very first time. And the one man touches the side of the elephant and says, oh, how big, the elephant is like a wall. And another man touches uh, the elephant's ear and says, oh, wow, how, how wide, the elephant is like, like a fan. And another man touches the elephant's leg and says, oh, wow, how tall, the elephant is like a tree. And you see, each man is touching a different part of the elephant, and they all have different views, and so they start arguing about who is right and who is wrong. So, no, I'm touching the leg. I know it's true. The elephant is a tree. It can't be anything else. And then up in the balcony, there's, there's a big king, and he's awakened by all this commotion, and he says, all of you, you're foolish. The elephant is a very big animal, and all of you are touching a different part of the animal. What you need to do is put all the pieces together, and then you will see the truth. And the story is told with the point being that all religions are equal. They're just different ways of getting to the same point. And each religion only has one part of the truth. And so you can't claim that your part is better than any other part. Let's put them all together, and then we will have a bigger picture. Christianity works for you. Another religion works for someone else. It's the same. But the real point of that story is often overlooked. See, the, the point of the story is told kind of from the king's perspective. The king who can see. And so he can see better than anyone else, and he can see that the elephant is big, and he can see the real picture. And when someone brings that story up, they're, what they're really saying is that I can see, and, but you can't. You're blind. And you're blind because you're a Christian, and you don't even know all the other views. But I can see better than you can, and I know that all religions are really the same. Now that's an arrogant claim to say that you can see better than everyone else, all the followers of all the different religions, they're just blind. But I know the truth. And when someone does say that, I have to say, well, that's, that's a great great claim, but what, on what basis are you standing on? Or what grounds are you standing on? What basis do you have to make that claim? Where's your evidence that this is true? You see, that in itself is an exclusive claim because it excludes all the other religions that are saying this is the way to get to God. And Jesus' way, Jesus says, I am the only way. No one comes to the Father except through me. And so it is not compatible with this kind of a view. You see, there is an arrogance that is disguised as humility. And so when we make the claim that Jesus is the only way, there is no other name, well, on what ground can we stand to make such an exclusive claim? I mean, all claims are exclusive. Once you make a truth claim, you're automatically excluding other views that oppose or go against that view. Everyone has exclusive beliefs. And the exclusive belief that we as Christians belong hold to is that there is no other name. But what grounds do we stand on? What evidence do we have to say that this is true? Well, this is the third series, third video in our series. And Dave started off with the first one. Dave is going to finish next week, and he is going to help you answer that question next week in our fourth video. What evidence do we have? What can we stand on to say that there is no other name under heaven? given to mankind by which we must be.